Y'all, this is James. I'm at the beach. Enjoying myself. You know, I don't think 15 minutes is long enough to really describe and talk about some of the things I'm talking about, but I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> you know, and uh, right now I want to talk about surveillance. Because if you're a targeted individual, if you're one of these people who... Um, goes against the status quo um, you're gonna be uh, surveyed and uh, you know you're already been pro possibly selected attacked you know um, someone has created a file for you and then they go into your history and they um, can possibly like me destroy your entire life and I, I'm saying this because I'm finally starting to get things back on track um, my divorce is finally coming through, um, and it's been kind of a bitch because it required me to, um, and this plane up there, it required me to, um, you know, they, the police stole my, um, my passport, my IDs, my social security card, and then destroyed them so that I, so that I could be almost a powerless individual. And this unfortunate society um, because it's unfortunate a little bit because you can't apparently cross borders make believe borders without passports and so on and so on um, even though the people in power are regularly uh, can uh, obtain and easily obtain these documents and easily um, go th from borders to borders and uh you know enact laws and all sorts of other things that um are um, used to destroy our lives uh, and and destroy dissent so just watching this vice special um you know it's talking about edward snowden um their surveillance state and um you know before i even um was attacked um, you know, um, spiritually. Well, I probably believe was being attacked spiritually at that point in time. Um, but I had gone deep and deep down into, um, and it might not even been that deep, um, because I just was focusing on Israel. And, uh, you know, I, was, I watched documentary. I don't know what it's called now. It was, um, by uh, a specific uh, person on YouTube, which I find interesting also. Um, it was uh, created by this guy on YouTube who basically showed that um, <laughs> it's the early 1900s and before 1800s also, these uh, robber barons um, who were associated with specific bloodlines, um, and it goes on and on, these families were enacting war and destroying people's lives through targeted war like they get together and they decide which country they're going to invade what laws they're going to enact how they're going to um destroy the people there through the financial system etc etc and the list goes on and on and uh i'm pretty sure this has been going on for quite some time you know if you uh look back for far enough you'll find uh, information about how some of these kings and queens would finance the wars on both sides so they didn't care who won um, and uh, would have spies and all sorts of other um, people and entities um, you know participating in this in this evil war that they've created um, I did a couple of videos about uh, or I did a video or two about some of these magicians um, who work with jinn, work with negative entities, work with demons, and how they make, um, you know, the, the, uh, make things seem like magic, but it's really just a negative entity, um, a demonic entity, um, you know, um, or computers, whatever the case may be. It's, I'm sure it's a whole smorgasbord of things, um, working to, uh, to, deceive I'm sure you know ever since there were court jesters and before then 
you know, witchcraft, voodoo, um, and, and many other practices, you know, they've been working on this for a very, very, very long time. And uh, if you sit back and, and realize what's really going on, it's quite disturbing. And, uh, you know, we can go back in the history if you want, but I prefer that, you know, people do their own um, research and, and uh, understanding as to what is truly going on. Um, one of the things that I have found that no matter where I go, there are people who show the F up. So today, you know, I got an early start as usual, um, around 6.30 or so. Um, a, uh, a, I was sitting at Walmart, and, you know, I get in, it's free internet is hard to come by sometimes. Um, you know, it's best, and also like a plug to plug your phone in, etc. Um, but, you know, the, in, in my current area, there's not that many places that you can go where you can get free internet and be safe. Um, very few, um, if not any, where you can be anonymous and just surf the internet. There's always some type of surveillance going on. So uh, this Asian woman comes up to me. And I should have recorded it because she came up to me. She kept, she kept looking at me. She would come out like, you know, I'm sitting in a corner, so you have to, like, you literally have to be, you know, be a smoker or, like, interested in coming into that area. Otherwise, there's no other reason. And she just, at least five, six, seven times, maybe more, she came out of the corner and just stared at me. I happen to be meditating at this point in time. Um, so I always get uh, some type of entity that pops up. Um, you know, uh, and they were very, uh, angry by the way yesterday. I don't know why there was something going on. Um, maybe something they were trying to steal. I told you, I did a video about my dreams and, uh, they were trying to steal something and they couldn't find it. So, um, today, uh, this Asian woman come, you know, she just, I'm meditating and every time I get to a certain place, she kind of pops her head out or her entire body and just comes and openly and standing in the middle of the parking lot stares at me I should have recorded it because it was definitely a strange event and I wasn't thinking about it because I was in the middle of meditation um, but she was definitely staring at me um, and uh, just just gawking almost like what are you, like kind of looking at me what are you doing or trying to interrupt what I'm doing um, they have a thing where they like to steal um, from people, and it's possible that she was trying to steal something. Um, so, you know, she she came out a bunch of times and just openly gawked and stared at me. And I'm just like looking around, I'm just like, hi, what do you want? And then eventually she comes up to me. She, and then she says a couple times, you have a really nice bike, you have a really nice bike, you know, and and I told her, please stay away, please go, I, and when I feel like that something's wrong, I tell them to go away, um, but she handed me this card that says that come and join our church, etc. I already know what their churches are about, you know, when they're worshiping their Jesus Christ, and they're made up bullshit. Um, you know, it, it's very disturbing, to be honest with you, um, at this point in time that it's even going on. Um, but they still do it anyway. Um, you know, I think of it almost like a child that doesn't get their way, and then they end up acting like they start having a tantrum, and this is their tantrum. And it just, it, it goes out in many different ways. It's obvious that there's a bunch of them. And uh, they interact and take over and manipulate people on many different levels. Um, so she came up, handed me the card. I said, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Uh, and I told her that I don't, I don't know which God you worship, but I don't pray to that God. I, I pray to the, the Almighty the universal prime creator, the one that 
knows you. And then she said, oh, and then kind of uh, stared at my bike for a little bit. And then uh, kept saying it's a nice bike and eventually went away. This And again, this is after seven, eight, seven times probably or eight times where she openly came and stood in the middle of the parking lot and waited for a couple of minutes while I was meditating. Um, and possibly trying to interrupt what I was doing, possibly trying to interact, possibly trying to steal, whatever the case may be, they were um, not respecting my space. And this is, you know, a little bit like the surveillance state where you got these entities that really just don't respect your space they don't, they don't respect who you are they don't respect the love that you have and it really is annoying and because they created a system where it's not like i mean you're gonna pop out and and end them it's not like you're gonna remove them what do, i mean you know it's not like i've got a ray gun or some type of glasses that will immediately spot them and eliminate them from our existence. That, that is not how this is supposed to be. That would be too easy. But they do. Um, and they use all sorts of different types of technology. Um, and the surveillance state, you can take a look at this video on Vice um, that talks about how they hack your phone, they hack your computer, they use these cell phone towers, they use planes, and I have personally experienced almost all of it. Um, I've experienced some pretty brutal surveillance where there was one time when I was like trying to get out of it. And anytime, you know, they, they try to, they cry about, and this, these are for people who are targeted individuals who are under mind control, who are being uh, annoyed and attacked by these negative entities by these follow ones when they try to cry and complain that they love you or they they like you or you know they're trying to help or whatever the case may be trying to convince you and doing something just remember that they're not they have a goal and they have a reason for doing what they're doing and i've been um i've been subjected to brainwashing literally physical like not just mental but literally taking away your ability to think um and so i'm there was one time when i was driving i i had i had had enough and i was like i gotta get away for at least a day or so and i was driving and i got about maybe 10 miles out and they found out turned off my freaking brain i'm saying like they had the ability to turn off the electrical signals that were in my brain so that I could no longer think and was falling asleep at the wheel and causing an accident and probably was going to get in an accident. I could not even, I could barely move and I just kept falling asleep, kept falling asleep. Um, and my brain just completely shut off. I could not think. I felt like I was dying or was at death. So these entities, this is what they do, and they don't give a crap about you. So, you know, and this kind of pushes the understanding for me about the surveillance state, why they are mounting ways to, uh, on uh, you know, mounting devices on planes, <gasps> on cell towers, on cars, following you everywhere probably got them on fish um you know definitely have them on people i've even been attacked by people on the beach with those little um coin detectors just following you around with them so we are in a surveillance state they are in open war against you and they would rather kill you than work with you and um, I'll do a little bit more about the surveillance state, but the video's about up, so peace out, fam.